So welcome to another video in our Ecamm Live tutorial series. And in this one, I wanna show you how to use a PowerPoint slide or actually Keynote I'm gonna use here because we're all on Macs and uh, bring that into Ecamm for either doing a live or maybe more likely a webinar. So I'm over here in Keynote at the minute and uh, this is a slide presentation that I've put together for my Pro Video Academy Live that I ran recently. Uh, now you'll notice that I've deliberately put everything off to the side on here and you're gonna see why in just a minute. You don't have to do this, um, but it's quite a cool way of doing a presentation. Now, uh, what you do need to do is on the document over here, you need to make sure that your whole document is not the standard one, but the widescreen, the 16 by nine, because that is gonna fit perfectly to the Ecamm screen, whether that be on YouTube or Facebook, wherever you wanna output it to. Uh, that's the size you need. Then, uh, so up in my keynote settings, now this is just off the recorded area, this screen, sorry, uh, I'm clicking file at the top, export to, and what we're gonna choose is PDF, because unless you really need animation to do transitions and things, um, do it as static, this will save this out as static images as a PDF. Uh, so let's let's do this. Hit PDF, go for the best quality, and uh, hit next, and save that out to your desktop or wherever you want. Now over here in Ecamm, and uh, at the minute this is my default, this is my main camera feed coming in through here. I'm gonna wanna drop this presentation over the top of here, and it will come in as if I'm dropping an image onto the top of here, an overlay but we're then gonna to want to bring ourselves forward on here and have a picture in picture in the corner, whether that's just a small little circle, or as you're gonna see in this case, we're gonna do it with green screen. But the way Ecamm is gonna look at this is our main video is underneath. We've then dropped an image over the top, and then we're asking it to use that same video image here as the picture in picture, so it won't like that. Now, if you've got multiple cameras, whether that be just the feed coming in from your uh, MacBook Pro, whatever it is, uh, you can flick over to that camera and then it will let you bring a second one in. What I'm gonna suggest is you just change this over to actually be showing your, I'm just gonna put it down here as my uh, secondary display. Uh, and I've already got this ticked on here so that it uh, puts a black background and it gets rid of my thumbnail. So this is my base. Now that PDF document, I am just going to drag onto my screen here, as you can see, and bam, it comes in just like that. And because I've set it to 16 by nine, it automatically fills here. Now, as you can see, down the bottom here, it allows me just to click through this. I have a simple left and right, and that will scroll me through this. And uh, alternatively, I can just be hitting my keys over here, and the little arrows left and right will do exactly the same thing. And that's what I tend to do actually. Uh, as long as my cursor is over this image, then I will see these little, uh, the pages back and forwards on there. And as long as I've got that on, I can click the arrows back and forwards and makes for a great presentation. Now, if you were doing a normal size presentation and you're filling the page with it and you just wanna sit down here in the corner, that's okay if I wanna just sit down the corner here and uh, if you remember, you can just right click on this and I can change this around to uh, different shapes. Um, you know, I can put myself along the side here if I want to and do my presentation this way. I think it's really nice. People wanna see, if certainly on a webinar, that this isn't pre-recorded, assuming it is a live one that you're doing. Uh, so you know, show them that it's real and you be there as you're going through. Now, what we're going to do here is I'm gonna change this around and we're gonna go back to classic. Now, I've got a green screen behind me and we're gonna use it, so watch this. I tick green screen and uh, transparent picture in picture. Look at that, almost gone. Um, I need to come down to this pan and zoom. There we go, I think I've got my camera settings on the wrong mode, uh, but there we go, I can. Did you know you can do that? That, um, let me just, this is all down here under this camera effects. Um, so I've selected green screen. There is another video all about green screen. I've selected green screen. Uh, if you find it's not doing a good job, 
then just adjust this fade level until uh, you know you don't want to take too much of you away but you want to get a nice clean edge on it so you can work that out uh, and then this pan and zoom if you find that what you're seeing on here is giving too much you know just make sure that you're losing all of that there now the reason I am choosing this one rather than if I go square then I start to chop my shoulders off I can quite easily disappear out of that if I go wide well I'm just getting too much there and it means I, I can't push myself any further in the corner so that's why I'm selecting this classic mode um, and actually I can come right up here and look that's pretty cool there so I could be as big as this. So actually I'm not much different to what I was when I was originally talking to camera to start with, but now I just so happen to have this presentation going on behind me. Now, I gotta warn you of this because you're gonna get stuck here. Remember the way we've done this. We started off with our desktop behind and then we've layered in front of that, this presentation, and then in front of that is me. So. Ecamm is looking here and look, as soon as I come towards this transparent picture of me over the front, quite rightly, it takes away these controls underneath it to be able to move the PDF forwards and backwards. So if you're over here and you're going, no, I've just lost my buttons, I can't move forwards and backwards, don't panic. All you gotta do is come to the side and you don't need to be clicking. You know, you might be going, I can't get to that button to move it. See what I'm doing? I'm trying to go over to those arrows and it goes as soon as I get near it. Um, you can eliminate that by just making sure that your picture in picture is out of the way of it like that. Um, or don't panic. I use this all the time and uh, all it means is I don't need to use those buttons. I come back over here, like I said earlier, and as long as my mouse is not on that area where the picture in picture is, then it gives me that window at the bottom that says what page I'm on. And remember what I said, I just use the arrows down here and I go forwards and backwards. Now, this isn't anything that's inside the stream deck. It's not like moving scenes onto new scenes. Um, how could you do that? You could set up a new scene. <laughs> you could duplicate this with a new scene for every image. And actually, instead of it being a PDF that you exported out of Keynote, you could actually, if maybe you'd only got say 10 slides, I mean, this has got 38, you can see it there. Maybe you've only got 10 slides. You can export it as individual images and you could do this and drop an image on a scene, clone it to the next one, drop the next scene image on, clone it, drop the next one on, and then actually you could go scenes forwards and backwards inside Stream Deck. Uh, I wouldn't want to clone 38 pages. I don't think it's worth it. Uh, so I can just over here, as you can see, I'm clicking now and it's moving through quite happily. I don't need that button. All right, so that is absolutely the best way to do a presentation. Uh, I've done it and people have absolutely loved it. If I need to suddenly cut to a video or something, you know, I open up a new scene and that comes in over the top and I can make myself go to the corner and then I come back to this one and it will pick up from where I was. Uh, the only downside with this PDF thing like this is uh, <laughs> I quite often, the last thing I'm doing before I'm about to go on a webinar is quickly run through this. Am I happy with my slides? And if you find you're on page 38 or sometimes on webinars people get up to 100 slides easily because you're just constantly putting new content up as you're going and you're using it for your bullet points. There's no quick way of getting back. You've literally got to tap on your key and go back one page at a time. Uh, so just be warned, it'll take a bit of time to get back if you've got 100 pages. Uh, but there, there you go. So it's seeing it as an overlay, as a, uh, you know, just like we've dropped a, an image in that's 16 by nine. Uh, I think that's a fantastic way to do a slide presentation. PowerPoint, I'm sure, well, I know it exports the same, so the, the process would be the same inside that. Now, um, we did say that you might need to use animation, and this is obviously just statically moving from one slide to the next. I would really encourage you to look and go, do I need the animation? If it's purely just to do a little swish and go from one slide to the other, it really isn't worth it. But if you do need it, let's come back into Keynote. And what you're gonna do this time is go file, export to HTML. I'm gonna hit next. 
And what this is going to do, I'll drop it on the desktop again. Uh, I'm going to get, call it demo, demo launch party. Now I know some have said, well, you can just, you, if I hit play on here, it totally hijacks my screen. Uh, it goes full screen across two monitors that I've got here and I can't see anything. Uh, so I want to come out of that. I don't like that. Now I know I heard Glenn saying the other day uh, that you can actually in Ecamm, you've got the little window that sits over the top of it. Potentially, uh, you know, you could work that. I don't like it. You're not going to see any comments or anything. Uh, so yeah, and if I were just going to simply do this one, and yes, I could crop it into that window there and get rid of the thumbnails, but I've gained nothing than what I would have done if uh, what I've, uh, you know, the, doing what I've just showed you there. And it means then that I've got Keynote turned off because if you're anything like me, you, you, you know, this is, the, the, I don't know if you can hear the fan over here. My laptop has kicked in. Uh, um, it's always hard when you're live streaming or doing screen recordings and things. So I want to have as minimal uh, things open as possible. So if I can close Keynote down, I will do. So we've assumed then that we need this. Let's have a look at what's just happened. And uh, let's come back over to Ecamm. And let me show you a different way that we can do this. So I'm going to turn this one off. Uh, and what we're going to do this time around is I'm going to go to Finder and launch party and I'm going to click on this index and what it does is opens up for me there a web page and so I can minimize myself a bit let's just while I'm sorting this out um, we need to go into this and say Chrome let's gonna we're gonna fill the window with Chrome which it's doing and um, there seems to be the optimum point and then I'm going to come into here and I'm going to zoom in to it yep I think that looks to be about no it doesn't let's move this around so it can come in slightly not quite as easy to set up it should fit because it's exactly the right dimension I'm just trying to carefully do it with my fingers on my keypad. So if you've got a if you've got a laptop um, and you've got a you know the, the the keypad instead of a mouse, you can just move your fingers like this and it will zoom it in and out. Uh, but there you go. I've positioned myself there. I can now just bring myself back in, um, and I can work away in here. So this time, I'm now, as you can see on my screen share in here, I'm now over here in Keynote, and as I click over here. Again, I'm just clicking my way with the same arrow keys over here and I'm working my way through and this would now play the animations if you'd got them or if you needed to. Maybe you'd got something embedded in it and you wanted it to. This will work just the same as if you were doing a presentation straight to a screen. Uh, I can see a drop in quality in that. I don't think that looks as sharp as if, if you rewind that. In fact, you don't need to rewind it. What am I talking about? Uh, let me drop this back in over the top again. Uh, I think that is showing me there sharper. Let's get to the same window. That is my PDF. And that's it coming through. You can see it's just not as sharp on that text on that. Um, and it also means, as you can see, you know, I've got my Chrome browser open down the bottom here and I don't need to have that open otherwise and while I'm working on this I can't see what's going on up here um, so yeah it is doable it's possible to do that um, I just don't think it's as nice so there you go there's a little tour around that's how I would do a presentation uh, I've had some great feedback on it people don't expect you to show up like that to have that you know, never mind having a TV sitting behind you. Your whole wall is your screen behind you and you're just sitting in front of it. So I hope you found that useful. Let me know in the comments. What do you think? Uh, any questions on it or can you see other applications for it? Have you had a go at this? I'd love some feedback from you and just uh, find out that this is relevant and it's helpful. Okay, so I'll see you in another video. Thank you so much.